Okay. I guess I'm live. <laughs> I've never gone live on here before. I don't know why. I don't think. Not recently. So I don't know if anyone's even gonna join. Um, apparently I had a lot more subscribers than I even thought I did. I have like 345. What the, when the fuck did I have that many subscribers? Okay. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. I guess it was when I was doing more of my other work. <laughs> um, so I don't even know really what goes on. Like, will this share on my page? I think so. Because it has like a section of like live videos instead of just like uploaded videos. So, um, little introduction to anyone that comes across this video that's new or whatever. Um, my name is Melody. I am a self-taught makeup artist. Um, I do like makeup and cosplay. Um, I'm a dancer. Yes, an exotic dancer. So I kind of combined um, my makeup cosplay with like that work. And um, yeah, <laughs> so pretty self-explanatory. It feels so weird when you're live. And like, you know, you're not talking to someone because no one's in the room. But if, like, when you go live on, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this on here, but only hands will say. Um, like, I know that even though I'm live and no one may not, may join, I can still share the video at the end. So it's like, it's better than just sitting here like. You know, waiting for someone to like talk to you. So you just talk about whatever and then you can share the video and at least like if I'm not talking to anyone, at least I'm like posting this and I'll be talking to whoever sees it kind of thing. I'm sure people get what I'm trying to say. So anyways, I don't want to spend forever on here doing my makeup. So I'm just going to get started while I wait for hopefully some people to join. Um, I'm going to go. I can't speak. <laughs> I gotta remember that if I can share this video that I gotta slow down and like, well, I'm going to jump into what I'm trying to explain. So, um, because this is kind of like a makeup tutorial, um, I have this stuff. It says I make up remover. It's not, it was an empty bottle. I put water and tea tree, tea tree oil together. Um, in here just to like cleanse the skin. I'm a very like all natural kind of person. Um, so that's why I like tea tree oil because it's a natural oil from some specific tree. Um, and it's good for your skin. It's good for many, many things. Um, so I use that after I get out of the shower to like cleanse my skin. Um, and then, so I use some of this. It's Revolution Skincare London, 10%. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right. Oh, we have someone here. Hi, whoever is here. I don't know if it shows up like when people join. Oh, there was someone here and they're gone. That's okay. Um, I don't know if it shows up when people join or like, I guess you can go, what does that do? Oh, top comments, live chat. Let's do all messages are available. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and then you can switch the camera. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Well, I usually do that. Anyways, so this is 10% niacin cinamide. Niacinamide. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not a really good, like, I'm a good speller. I'm not a good pronouncer at words. Um, I mean, but I, I try my best to sound it out, right? Like, that's how you're supposed to sound it out. Put it in syllables, break it up, that shit. All that shit, good shit that we learned in um, school. Yeah. Nia, like N-I-A. Nia Sin. C-I-N. Would it be Nia Kin? Nia Kinamide? 
Nikimai Nisin. I see. I never know if the C is pronounced like an S or a, or a like a K sound. <laughs> Stupid English language. Anyways, I don't know what that is. Plus one percent zinc. It's vegan. It's cruelty free. It's fragrance free. I mean, it is Revlon. And Revlon is really good high end makeup that you can get from Shoppers Drug Mart. This actually came in. I got a 15 Days of Beauty Advent calendar. Um, you can go to my TikTok page. I'm probably talking fast. I'm really sorry. Um, if I am, please let me know. Comment below, or maybe someone will eventually join my lives and tell me if I'm talking too fast and remind me. Anyways, so I, yeah, I got this for my 15 Days of Beauty. You can go to my TikTok page and you can see the video of me opening that's part one and part two so this came out of that box i used that first um well i used that second technically then i used um this versed dew point moisturizing gel cream um this is what it looks like now this is another product that came out of my 15 days of beauty um but i found out one of the girls that i follow on tiktok that i talk about a lot um zayna i think her name is i think i'm pronouncing that right zayna zena something close to that she actually uses this stuff too i'm pretty sure it's a moisturizing like some sort of moisturizing cream i definitely heard her say vers versed first i always want to say versace <laughs> um but yeah so i was like oh cool that i'm good i'm glad that i'm using the same product that she's using because her makeup looks flawless all the time um she's not really a makeup artist she more so does shop shopping hauls like i do as well and she really likes pink stuff like same with me and i just found out she's watching rupaul's drag race Oh my god, I can't even... That's what I'm watching right now, but all stars. Um, anyways, but yeah, she does her makeup and like... Well, me, because I'm doing like the bright colors, the cosplay. That's how we're a bit different, right? Like I'm more about makeup and things. Um, or about doing the shopping stuff. And anyways, yeah, her makeup though just... It's usually more the neutral tone colors, like browns and stuff like that. But just flawless, flawless. And then her outfits just... Oh, I can't. Like I sometimes I'm like I can't even I feel like I have to unfollow her because she just her whole vibe is just a vibe. Like it's a vibe. Her cute little pink gloves. Or no, I think they're white gloves. She has like a pink sweater and then white little gloves, little fur, and like just and I'm following all these girls that like share pink stuff and buy pink stuff. And I see why it came up on my page because I'm like I have the pink little drawer thing here i have my pink other stand i have my pink bed I'm like i bought all this stuff before i even started following them and then i guess because i started posting pink stuff and all that they started coming up on my page and i'm like oh my god i found like all my friends anyways so yeah um that's what i've done in the beginning of my makeup oh and i also put on this tea time byro new york rosy eye cream um, it's a brighten and deep puff firm. So this I got for my Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, I believe it was December's Ipsy Glam. No. Yeah, I think it was December's Ipsy Glam Bag. Either way, you can go and follow me on TikTok and you can see all the wonderful videos that I've made. Um, all the makeup things that I've gotten. Like recently I got a Scooby-Doo makeup. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I get very, very distracted, so bear with me, guys, here. I've never gone on live, so that's why I'm, like, kind of yapping. But I got all this. I still have to fucking organize all my makeup, my makeup table. Find a spot for this. Like, I am just... I literally have so much fucking makeup. It is redonkulous. Like, redonkulous. How much makeup I have. And, like, I know a lot of girls have a lot of makeup, too. Like, I'm not the only one, but I'm, like, I have a lot. Like, that is stuffful. But that's all makeup. 
that's all jewelry and sunglasses and stuff. And then the bottom one is like my Ipsy bags and anyways. Okay. So I need to smoke, smoke a bowl. Yes, I need to take a sip of some water. Okay, um So um anyone new to seeing this video if I get to share it <laughs> um you will know or sorry you won't know anyone that's not new will know that normally um how I start all of my videos is with a bong toke so I'm hoping I'm able to do that on here let's get a bong toke going or as the girl on um another girl that I follow on tiktok that does makeup she does like transitions and stuff oh my god she's so cute and so funny and her yo her transitions like she's not again about the like the crazy like you know the people that do like the crazy facial makeup and stuff she's more of like again more not all natural but like it's like classy beautiful and all natural I love it oh my goodness anyways she did this one video where she's doing the tap to ask thing or whatever on TikTok and she goes, um, do you hear that owl? And she taps and I think it says no. She goes over, she goes, hoody hoo in the background. Like as she's like off this hoody hoo. And then she goes, did you hear the owl now? And taps again. No. She's like, Phew. she's like, I'm just going to ask for a fucking, to take a hoot. And then it says yes or whatever. So she takes a hoot. A bong toke, obviously, or whatever. She smokes. I just thought it was so fucking funny that she was like, who do you? Over from the fucking side. I can't. It was so awesome. So I swear to God. Oh, look, there's somebody here. Hi. Um, yeah. I just, I think I'm going to call it that from now on. Every time I go up a bowl, I'm going to call it a who do you? So I wonder where the comments come up. Like, did they just show up at the bottom? Because this just, all this says is... Some messages such as potential spam may not be visible. Live chat, all messages are visible. So I guess they just pop up. I don't know. Until someone comments. Until someone says hello. I will never kneel. I gotta bust up more. I really love this light thing that I got from Dollarama. It's not the best, I'll admit, and it took a while for me to figure out where the hell I was gonna put it for it to actually stay. And I would take my phone out and show you guys, but I just don't wanna I don't wanna fiddle around with that right now. Um, I can take a video of it in my, in a TikTok or whatever, but, um, it just, like, clips onto something, and then it's got two little, like, bendy, shapey thingies, and, um, <clears throat> one is the light, and the other one is for your phone, so, pretty fucking cool, for five bucks, I mean, not gonna lie, it works pretty well. So yeah, and it's pretty bright. And then it plugs in, so that's even better because then I never have to worry about it like dying and stuff. I hate when that happens. Oh, and then also, I wanna show off this. So this, you can see in another video on my TikTok as well. It is a LED makeup mirror. And you can put like your makeup in here. It's got the on and off switch on the back. Okay, you can actually just plug it in. Um, it's got a plug for it or you can put batteries in it. I put batteries in it because the plug actually isn't... I don't have a plug nearby and it's like not that long. So, But then, as you can see, you open it up. And these ones are actually zoom in mirrors. This one's like two times. This is three times. This is just like an extra mirror. And then you got your middle. And just like the lighting on this is ridiculous. Oh, there you can kind of see my thing. There you go. You can see it. 
<laughs> Anyways. But I'm like, it's just so big. Oh, and it's even adjustable here. Like, you can just... You know? Do it any way you want. So you can have it tilted way up. You can have it tilted straight. And then you can even hold it. And dim the light all the way down. Like, I think that is... I just realized that there's actually a little light all the way around the outside of this, too. That is really cool. But yeah, I got this for $20 at Walmart. And I was like... I just wanted to try it out. I'm like... That is literally the best invention ever, okay? <clears throat> and then I have my other old one. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I might leave it at my man's house. So that way I have one there to use. Because I never do when I go there. Even though we're eventually talking about living together. But I don't really know how that's going to go. I don't even know with him anymore. Like, I love the guy, but... He's such a narcissistic asshole. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that. I just want to focus on me. So that's why I'm doing this live. I'm trying to promote my makeup more. Okay. Time to smoke a two. Where are all my bong smokers at? Well, I meant to say my 420 friends at, my stoner moms at, all that good shit. I'm gonna see the weed that my boyfriend gets. Okay, I gotta wet my spot and jump right back. All right, Teddy. So I will admit again, I am not a professional makeup artist. I am only self-taught. I just do whatever when I do my makeup. I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. A little bit just from like experience and um, <clears throat> watching other people, but I have a lot, a lot to learn. I know that um, I'm not trying to beat down on myself. I'm not as good, half as good as, you know, I'm nowhere near half as good as a lot of the people out there. There are many, many makeup artists that are really good, um, but I know that every time I do my makeup and I do my eyeshadow and stuff, I get lots of compliments on my makeup and how well I put on my eyelashes. And I love makeup. I like doing it. I want to expand my knowledge in makeup and eventually take like an online course and have like some sort of degree or something to say that, you know, I do know what I'm doing. So, again, don't come for me saying... You're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Like, just be helpful. Give helpful advice. Be friendly. Because, again, I I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Um, and everybody does their makeup differently. Like, nobody does their makeup all the same. Everybody likes results differently. It depends on your face type. Oils, no oils, things like that. So, <coughs> we're going to get into... <coughs> I have to eventually make a video of how to take eyelashes off because uh, my stepmom actually, I made a video of how to put eyelashes on but not how to take them off and my stepmom mentioned that I should do that so it's a good idea. I'll get to that. Anyway, so first, um, I don't know, again, if this is correct, but I seen a person start... So, if I'm doing eyeshadow, because I don't want any, like, mess. Like, if I put cover-up on, and then eyeshadow, it's going to stick to the cover-up, and then it's going to be hard to take off. So, you just leave that blank. And then I take a little bit of cover-up. 
This is not my go-to. I usually like the one at Sephora. Um, I believe it's the professional something. But I haven't been able to afford that for the long, longest time. So I'm using Ramel London uh, Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. This I like the mousse foundation because like I kind of have oily skin but dry skin. So like if I use the liquidy, I don't find it lasts very long. And then if I use like the too thicky, cakey kind of one, I just feel like it's too heavy on my skin and then it makes me like sweat even more. So the mousse I find is like a good mixture. It's like, like I mean mousse, it's self-explanatory. Mousse is that like light texture but kind of like a thick paste. I don't know. If y'all do makeup, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Anyways. I'll just take a little bit of that and I dab that on my you know what to be honest I'm not really the one of the girls like, that, that, that. I can't stand doing that I can't like I'll just swipe it in but I do it I try to do it as light as possible sometimes I get carried away and I go too heavy but um yeah so Try to do the dabbing as much as possible. I find it doesn't do the best blending though. Then again, I don't use all the proper blending brushes and sticks and sponges and all that crap. So I don't know what they're for. I just use whatever the hell I like. Like to me, this one is tiny. So I'm like, okay, that would be perfect for your eyes. This one, I feel like okay, it's bigger. So it's good for like blending. I feel like it's good for like this area. Right around here, because it's like big and small and like it fits right along your cheekbone nicely. Okay. So again, I don't know if you're supposed to do cover up first. Like I always just thought you were supposed to do concealer, but then. I don't know, I guess i just seen it somewhere on TikTok or, like, Instagram that, like, you put on your cover-up to, like, cover the whole face, make that all the same color, and then you put on the concealer so that you get that lighter and darker, like, shades, you know? Um, and also, it, like, gives it a base to sit on to make sure that it actually stays on longer. I got some underneath my eye. Whatever. Doesn't super matter. I just try not to go ahead and do that. Alright. So now that that's done. <clears throat> Can't wait to organize this. It's such a fucking chaotic mess. Okay, I'm gonna drop a bunch of shit. I'm gonna use this one. I have this other concealer. But it's too dark. Like, it's pretty much cover up. This is the only one that I have, like, actually light. The other lighting over here is throwing me off. There we go. Move it that way a bit. Okay, so I just put on a bunch there, just over my eye. Nothing special, doesn't matter. Don't put on too, too much. And then again, just kind of brushing it out with the sponge, whatever you want to call this effect, the dabbing effect. I do kind of do, like I said, because it's not good to pull your skin. That's how you get wrinkles. So I try to do, like, the more you scrape it, you're, you know, like, don't, that's not good. I hate even doing it now. So don't do that. <laughs> Okay. And I am not the only person <clears throat> who uses things to set. Like, I know this is a smart thing to do. So I got this, like, light shade of, I don't even know what it is. Eyeshadow, I think, that I got from Sephora. I think it's from Sephora. I don't know. Anyway. So I'll just take a brush and go over top. 
give it a really light base so that when I go in with color, the color is very vibrant. I'm just trying to blend it in as much as I can because I know I don't have to cover up anywhere else. So, try not to use too much of this because too much um well if you take pictures of the flash you get that really white ass line and it looks like you know you are trying to do ghost makeup or something like that and i've learned that because i've seen my pictures from back in the day at the club old club i worked at and my makeup was like that good thing we were in dark lighting so you couldn't see but still that's not what i want to do for makeup anyway so now you can see it's um, a little bit more lighter in here than the rest of my skin i'm so pale well that's a bad thing i just not that I'm, I, I'm against the fact that I'm white. I don't, I don't care about that. I'm just like, I want to be more tan. I like being a white person. I just want to be more tan. I have no idea what colors I'm even going to do today. And I think I just kind of want to do something simple. I think my son is upstairs. I have this in this palette. I'm trying to use one that I haven't used in a while. My glam babe palette but it's from my ipsy glam bags so many let's do like a nice brown today <clears throat> and then if i want to do my reindeer thing later i can so we're gonna do a nice shimmery brown color if i can this doesn't want to stay open oh wait i do have eyeshadow sticks i've been trying to retrain myself on how to use eyeshadow sticks because i really don't like using them i really like using q-tips <clears throat> not that it really matters how i do my makeup as long as it looks good so this is the eyeshadow palette that i have so you can see it'll definitely be in one of my ipsy glam bag videos on tiktok the colors are beautiful i got this like goldy char goldy color that's called charming then we got this dazzle color i think i'm gonna go in with this foxy color first my son is throwing things down the stairs i'm gonna have to let him downstairs a little bit Ooh, that, she's dark so we're just gonna do a little bit of that not too much <clears throat> I always get the compliments mostly about eyeshadow well don't know eyeshadow honestly you just have to play with it and a lot of the times, I'll admit, when I do my eyeshadow, until I've put my eyelashes on, I'm like, this looks so stupid. It looks weird. And then when you put eyelashes on, you're like, oh, okay, never mind. Eyelashes make a huge difference. Plus, the best advice I can give anyone is start with light colors. Don't start with dark colors. Dark colors are way too hard to learn how to blend in the very beginning. They're hard to play with. I have that same problem still, like especially with black. Black is one of the hardest colors to play with. So start with light colors that you can blend out easily. Start with like a light pink or a light blue. And well, if you've watched um, Edward Scissorhands, you know... The secret is to just blend and blend and blend. <laughs> so keep blending. Grab a Q-tip. Q-tips are your best friend. Trust me. And blend everything out. And just just go like this on the outside. Ow. 
always, if you think that the the Q-tip is dirty and it's like you won't be able to blend properly with it, throw throw it out. Don't use it. Like I will always get a new Q-tip if I think that what I'm, even if I've touched up just the slightest little bit, and I'm like, mm, I don't know, it's gonna mess up the top. I'll use a new Q-tip. I don't care because I'm like I'm not messing this up. Okay. Anyway, so we got some brown here for our base. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use this oh my voice just died there I'm going to use this dazzle color that's not really a camera of a phone does not really do justice I know that in the corner and then bringing up all the top so I'm just going in the corner right here and then coming up over top <clears throat> and it really does not matter if I go into the darker brown because it's kind of what you want Blend it out a little bit with the eyeshadow brush, whatever it's called. All right, I'm gonna do the other side now. Okay, Braylon, hang on. <clears throat> He's literally throwing things down the stairs. That's what he does. Go to shoes on <clears throat> Okay, Braylon, one minute. <clears throat> okay, so right now it looks kind of messy, right? It looks dark and messy. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a little bit of this charming gold color have a little bit of that in the corner 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 so I'm gonna blend out those other colors and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this gold and do the top Because it's all lighter than each other. <clears throat> so that way when I go to blend it out, they're not all the same dark color. back to our medium color we're gonna drag that out so basically what I did I with my light light color I went over the very corners just a little bit <clears throat> to give it a lighter like when the light hits it it gives it a little bit of a lighter tone and then we're taking the medium and just spreading it out a little bit further over the dark to like halfway through Other one. Okay. Just gonna take this color again and touch up my little corner here. All right, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna let my son come downstairs or figure out what's going on with him.
freaking kid and will literally throw every single shoe over. Oh man. He is just. this all in with a q-tip now i'm gonna go around the outside i'm not gonna stay here and superly explain everything since there's not too many people here at the moment and because i don't want to stay here forever doing my makeup i've got some other things i want to do More people I get eventually, then I'll start to take that time to explain my things more. Okay. Sometimes I'll even use my finger. Okay. <clears throat> and then I just go in and look around, see if everything is even. See if the colors look kind of the same. I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit more. Add more of this dark down here. Back to the charming. That nice and bright in the corners now. Hello to hello whoever is watching. Bring it back to the top again. Bring it all the way up to the eyebrows, but really try and do it lightly and spread it out. Other side. Okay, <clears throat> put that back, take another handy dandy Q-tip. Freaking can tell I watch too much Blue's Clues with my son. Handy dandy notebook. There, I'm just blending it all out now. I'm trying to make sure the top is really like light. Yeah. 
All right. Whatever. I'm going to take it. I think that looks good enough. <sighs> no. I'm glad I looked at the right time. Don't you dare. Away, what us away? All right, and now I just said that twice. Gonna grab my handy dandy cover up again. Basically, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I did in the very beginning. I don't know if I want to do something underneath or not. To um, blend out the rest of my cover up. Let's get out with my new brush. This brush is another thing that I got from that 15 Days of Beauty. I think I like it better than the original brush that I got from Sephora. Like, to be honest, I really don't even like that one. I just feel like it, it's supposed to not like hold all your cover up, but I feel like it does. And I feel like this one doesn't. Like, I feel like it actually brushes it all around rather than... I don't know. And again, maybe I'm just crazy. Well, no, that's definitely been established. I'm definitely crazy. I can't wait until I can go to Sephora. I have a $50 gift card for my boyfriend to go to Sephora. I cannot wait. So Y'all can join me when I go there. I probably will do um, a TikTok video for that. Unless I start getting requests to do live. I mean, to do YouTube videos while I uh, go shopping like Zena has. But I really don't want to. That's not something I want to do. Too much for my anxiety. I don't know, just something about this just feels so much like not thicker, but like it feels like it's actually on. The other one, I just feel like it kept swiping away every time I would. Try to spread it around. Okay, there we go. 
not trying to blend it in completely. Okay. I need to get back into doing my brows, but not just yet. Soon. Maybe I'll get back into doing them when I move. So that way I can... Uh, I have things more set up and stuff. It's just another extra thing. It takes so freaking long to do makeup, and I don't have time to really do that with having an autistic kid. So. Hello. But, um, in case anyone's wondering why I have a GoFundMe, um, no, it's not that I'm struggling actually for money. It's that I just want to move out of here as fast as possible. So if anyone would like to help me, that would be wonderful. If anyone wants to support my career, that would be wonderful. If anyone just wants to help out, that's wonderful. That's it. That's all it was about. Some people are taking that the wrong way. Let them take it the wrong way. No, actually, I like it more brushed out. Okay. I don't know if you're supposed to do that before or after, but whatever. I do it whenever I want to. And hello, person that's there. Hello. I don't know if, if like, people are commenting, and I don't think so. <clears throat> I really want to know what happens if it shows up here or not. I'm assuming it does, and I don't think I'm missing it. Alright, now that the cover up is done under my eye, I'm gonna go under my concealer. Under my eye. Um, my little tiny beauty blender. And just doing a little, like, dabbing slash, like, swiping, blending, cold motion. <laughs> this light kind of looks gray. Wow. I want to eventually do the blending around the eyebrow when you do your eyebrows all nice, but I don't really care for that just yet. When I get more time to do actually do my makeup is when I'll start doing that stuff. I don't really have time to do that when I got to take care of my kids. So I don't know how other women do it. Like, props to them. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to go back with this just to kind of like set that. I do actually have a setting powder. I just don't like to use it for under my eye. Well, I mean, I just got setting powder. I really don't know if it makes a difference, but girls use it, so I wanted to try it. Oh, look. Hi. So it does show up when someone's comments. Now I know. Great. Thank you for saying hi. I had three people at one point. Wow. Cool. Again, I know the more that I go on, the more people I will get. I will find my friends. I am from Ontario, Canada, Ontario. Where are you from? Okay, now I'm just blending this all out. So that, you know, like I said, you don't get that crazy white line. I'm a fucking queen. Is there anybody that you felt like 
Okay. I had to figure out what eyelashes I'm gonna wear. I have so many pairs of fucking eyelashes. It's ridiculous. Like, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I have fifteen pairs of lashes. And they're all different types. And they're not just like, it's like a box of five or a box of four. Why is my video age restricted? Um, because some of the things that I talk about aren't for people that are under the age of 18. That's why. Even though I'm only doing makeup, um, I work at another place. I work at a club. I'm a dancer and um, that's not really for people under the age of 18. So, yeah. Although I realize it doesn't really make sense because I have my kid. But I mean, he's not always down here and he's not really supposed to be like in the background just because of the living arrangements I'm going through and he was upstairs. So I'm going to try my best to make sure that my son isn't in my videos because I don't want him in my videos. I post him on my TikTok, but um, and on my Instagram a little bit. But other than that, I have my own profile. That's my personal profile on Instagram. And I don't add random people that I don't know on there. So I have two separate things. I have one account for this work. And I have one account for my family and friends and stuff like that. So, okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to put on my eyelash primer. I need more. I need a new one because this one is old. And I really don't like using an old eyelash primer, but you know, whatever. We'll make do with what I have. Well, I have two people in here. Hello, two people. Say hi. Well, one person already did. <laughs> yeah, I see. What's your What's your name, Ne Ne Negi? Am I pronouncing that right? My name is Melody, if you didn't already know. N N to N and New Deep? That's hard to say, sorry. Okay. You're from India. Is that what you said, right? That's cool. All the way from India. That's pretty far. That's like what? You have to take a plane to India, don't you? So I'm in Canada, so I'm pretty sure you have to take a plane to India. And I'm pretty sure it's probably like, I would say at least a six hour plane ride, somewhere close to that. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert, so. <laughs> um, okay, so I put on my prime, eyelash primer. Oh, now I'm gonna do, well, actually I'm gonna blend this out a little bit. Usually I wait a little bit longer and smoke another bowl in between to let this set a little bit more, but again, I don't wanna be sitting here forever doing my makeup, so. Today I don't super really care. It's going to be hard when he wants to come over here. 
Oh, he took another ten bit, of course. <laughs> Too much. So I have to keep blending. My name is Melody. I mean, it's in my thing, but my name is Melody. Like a tune or a song, you know? What the hell? Taking some powder cover up and just going over top. Thank you. Never you, baby. You, you, you are. You, you, you are. Woman as a woman as a woman as a. I am not the best singer, but I really don't fucking care. I love to sing, so just so everyone knows that. Just as what you are, are. Like when you see me at work, you'll see that when I'm on stage, I usually am singing along because I can't help it. I love music so much. And help cuts out some of the parts. Okay, now that that's done. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with the really shitty eyelash curlers that I got. Well, it's not the shitty, they're just for a really, um, different shape of eyes, and, yeah, they're too round. They're too round for my eyes. I'm getting a new pair of my Ipsy Glam Bag for January, so we'll see how that, those ones are. That's a weird question. And a little bit personal. Sorry, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> you look so scary. <laughs> that is not attractive. Oh, man. The group has spoken, and the queen, they have chosen to get the shop in. Yes. He moved my freaking screen over. Hey, Lynn, you bum. Girl, the eyelashes. Take my little eyelash brush. I wonder how many men don't know that there's such thing as an eyelash brush. This eyelash brush is from Sephora. It's one of my favorite ones because it's all metal. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you're trying to clean all your mascara out of it, it does, like, you can pull out the actual individual little metal pieces. 
Then I lost one one time, and I thought I was never gonna find it, and I actually did. That was fucking crazy. Uh, I have. I like any music that's got a good beat to it. I listen to mostly like R&B, reggae, hip hop, techno, house, dance, soccer, um, what else do I listen to? Just a whole bunch of different shit really. Why do you only listen to Indian music or do you listen to other kinds of music too? Well, no, I don't know if it's just me and I'm getting the hang of using this eyelash curler. I was really curled this time. Oh, I still didn't pick out lashes. I think, um. I'm just gonna put on my number 11 kiss lashes. They're my favorite ones to wear. I really like them. Just look at like the difference of curling your eyelashes. Like, wow. To me, that makes such a huge difference. So, the lashes that I'm most like to wear are number 11 kiss lashes. Um, you can get them from Walmart, I'm sure Walgreens, uh, pretty much any like drug or grocery store you know the grocery stores that like offer everything like the ones that have like food and clothing and makeup and all that crap yeah that's i mean you can find eyelashes at like dollarama dollar tree you can find eyelashes pretty much anywhere my mom actually got me a pair of magnetic eyelashes from costco um and I've never tried ma magnetic lashes, so I'm very excited to try those. I don't know when I will, but I will. Oh, here comes the little teeth. Excuse me, sir. No. No, 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 don't touch that. No. Braylon. No. No, I'm trying to do my makeup. I'm pretty much almost done. Well, yeah, of course you did. Probably because you're a perv. Or because you, you know. Yeah, think that that's what people offer on here. If you want to see something like that, you can subscribe to my OnlyFans. That's eight ninety nine a month. I don't do stuff like that on here. Raylan, no. All right, so for eyelashes, I put the glue on. I don't really let them dry a lot. You can see all this in my other YouTube video.
And then I just stick them on as close to my last one as I can get. Even if they're floating in both fucking corners, as you can see, I'll just take a eyebrow plucker and pull it down to my lash line. Now, a lot of the times, yes, your eyelashes will get in the way and it's very annoying. Sometimes I struggle with that. I use the eyebrow pluckers to kind of pull the lashes out of the way. Or, um... Or just say fuck it and leave it. It's not super noticeable. This is why you bend your eyelashes before you put them on so that they fit to the shape of your eye. So that when you do put them on behind your eyelashes, they, um... You know, the eyelashes are kind of like out of the way kind of thing. It's hard to explain. Basically, what I do is I bend them so that when I put it down, it's like stuck in the middle, but like up in the air. So that if I can't get it down in the spot I want right away, that at least um, I can move it into the spot where I want and the reason why I do it with wet glue is because I can move everything around more. I can, I like to take my eyedrop pluckers and use them as like a little clamp. And just clamp my real lashes to the fake lashes. And that's what I find really helps blend them in to make them look like real lashes. I never really, honestly, I never really care. If you can look underneath, like if you go like this and you can see that there's like a gap, because to me, I'm like, no one's looking at that. Like, I'm not walking on my eyes closed and being like, you know, it happens sometimes, whatever. But to me, I'm like, as long as like right now, you can't, you can't fucking tell. I've got that compliment so many fucking times. And then again, sometimes it doesn't stick. So I just take a little bit of glue. I'm still explaining this anyway. But I just take a little bit of glue on the end, very end of my eyebrow plucker. And I superly, superly carefully dab a little bit of glue where the loose lashes are. And I mean super, super carefully. Because you can stub yourself in the eye accidentally. Yes, there's more videos on here. I have OnlyFans. I have other videos that I've done in the past. Please be respectful. Don't comment on anything rude. We can be friends as long as you're not a waste of my time. Because I don't just chit chat on like my Instagram for free and shit like that. I mean, if you want to follow me on Instagram and like my pictures and like you know support my career maybe actually subscribe to my only fans then sure okay so yeah i just went ahead and put like i said put little glue dabs on the loose lashes and then just pinch them all together sometimes all mint glue gets everywhere and traditionally i don't worry about like if it's not perfectly aligned i don't usually superly care i just leave it because i'm like from far away you can't you can't tell like you can't tell Anyways. <clears throat> so that's how i did the one lash and i'm gonna do this one so um my new friend here, I forget your name already, too. Yes, in the beginning of this live, I was talking about how um, I am a dancer. I have made content. I do cosplay. Hence why I do makeup. So I mix the makeup and the cosplay together. Um, and I mix that with my other work. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm bending the eyelash into shape as you guys can see it and show you guys that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna set it on my eyelashes. Once I put some glue on first. <gasps> Never do that. This is why you don't hold your glue over top of your eyelash. Because sometimes that'll happen and it'll get all over your eyelash. You gotta simply carefully do it. I do let it dry a little bit. Freaking... The lashes tend to like push together so that the band pushes away. This is why you like to use the glue when it's wet so that I can just push it back. I'm just clamping the eyelashes again. My whole neck just cracked. I don't think I've ever done anything. Poor baby, he's so sick. I mean, he's getting better. He's not as bad as he was the other day. All right. Do the glue dabs again. Okay, there we go. And now the eyelashes are on. There. Ta-da! Now I've got eyelashes on. I think that looks so cute. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that glue dry a little bit. Put everything away. I love it. I love it. So this is going to be extremely Those away. That away. That away. I still need the eyelash brush though. No, I don't come on live daily. I will follow you back if you subscribe to my OnlyFans. Um, what was I trying to do? Oh, um, let's do blush. Yeah, I'll follow you back on Twitter if you subscribe to my OnlyFans. Because I don't really follow anyone back. Unless I know that they're worth it.
My OnlyFans link is in my Twitter profile. Okay, add some blush. I see this girl that she adds blush on like where the sun would hit you just to put some color to her face. And um, so that's what I do too. I don't know what's so funny. You just say no. Okay, so I'm blending all the blush in now. Needing another timber. Okay. And then I'm putting. Oh, my gold one is broken. No. Bet you that happened from my son throwing it. Jeez, that makes me so sad right now. Whatever, I can probably crush it all up. Let me get into a crushed powder. Oh, sorry, I didn't get to see that. They disappear way too fast. Okay, good night. Have a good sleep. Nice meeting you. Alrighty. So we add a highlighter on, uh, thank you, on uh, above my lips just to make the light hit them and make them stand out a little bit more. You can already see that. I like that. Highlighter on the cheeks. Either on the nose, just to kind of make that look a little bit smaller. And then we are pretty well done. I'm going to put on my setting powder. smells like alcohol. I don't know if I'm crazy, but it kind of smells like alcohol. Cool. So that is apparently supposed to set all your makeup, I guess. Because then they're setting, they're setting spray. Setting powder and setting spray, like, are they the same things? I really, I don't know. All right, and then just to add some finishing touches, Braylon, can you please leave that alone? He's like looking at the camera. 
<laughs> you can see the guy's head in the corner. So I'm just pushing my eyelashes back to um make them, you know, stand out more. And uh, well, I mean, your eyes will look like they're half closed if you don't push them up. So there we go. That looks even like wow. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my little lash brush. Brush out all the glue that's in the actual lashes. Sometimes the glue is really like extra sticky and you have to be careful. Don't brush too hard because sometimes you can pull your lashes right back off. I've done that many, many times and it's so annoying. Oh, oh there you go. You guys can quickly see my son. I'm trying to keep him out of it. Amen. Same here. All this weight that I carried with me for many years. It helped me so much. Get it for Okay. Now I'm gonna take one of my mascaras, my many, many mascaras. I'm gonna take this one that's like kind of empty. I want a nice base first. I don't know if I want a bunch of mascara on. I just want a little. I might add eyeliner and all that fun stuff later. Lashes obviously make them look more bold. Alrighty, I've already been on here for an hour and a half, and um, I do have major anxiety, plus, I need to kind of focus more on my son and yada yada yada. Um, but I, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm like, anxiety kicks in. I'm like, what am I talking about? What am I seeing? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get off the live now. Thank you, anyone that joined. The one person that said hi. Hopefully we get more people. This is the end results. That needs to be blended out just a little bit better. I'm Ginger Mix, and I'm the big booty beauty with a huge heart. Actually, the metal just kind of enlarged. I like that. I think that really makes my eye, green eyes stand out. Anyway, so I'm going to work on my hair. Um... Like I said, I'll probably add more makeup later. I'm probably going to make some TikTok videos. I don't know. I've got some things I need to do. So I want to get off of here and focus on that. It's 4.30. So. Yeah, I'm going to go. But don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Makeup by Melody Lynn. Follow me here. Or subscribe or whatever. And uh, 